does my plant foot have to line up with my target? So if I had two train tracks, one going through the back of the ball, through the seams, all the way to target, one going through my heel, all the way through to target, those two train tracks, do they have to be the same, or can I change up how this plant foot's landing, the angles of it, and what it needs to do? Answer to that question is yes. Now think of me as a golfer. If this is my golf ball, I've got my big driver out, we quite often see golfers open up this front foot so that they can get behind the ball, really elevate the ball, let their hips get through to target, use their human body to be the most powerful. Now the reason that they make that small adjustment is because their human body is quite complicated. They're trying to find a consistent way to get energy and power through the ball. We can do the exact same when it comes to our plant foot and goal kicking. One of the key things that our plant foot does is it sets up where our hips are going to be. If I was to really open this plant foot up as much as I could to the left, you can see that it's wanting to pull my hips around and I'm probably going to pull the ball and fall off. If I really try to get my foot square and that doesn't feel natural and I hate that position, it's going to mean that I'm really square at impact, meaning that I'm going to block the ball and like that sledgehammer feeling that I was talking about, funny things are going to happen. So for me, whenever I was goal kicking, it felt really good just allowing myself to have that small little, rather than being straight, small little turn into the ball. That was really comfortable. It got my hips in a really good position so that on impact I could compress, just like a golfer when they get their compression at the time of impact, I could compress on the ball. And then in the follow through, through to target, is when I squared things up and got the ball flying exactly where I wanted. So a lot of detail in that, but it's just really to give you the green light to say that your plant foot doesn't have to be landing straight directly at target. You can have that small little room to play around with and find what works best for you, what's gonna get your hips in the best position so that you can be a more consistent goal kicker. So I found myself a line to really get this point across about how this plant foot is landing. You'll see it with my ball set up that my seams are slightly falling under, so that's how I like to fly the ball, just to promote that right to left ball flight for my right foot kicking. Now back to this plant foot, in line with the line is there, we're allowed to be anywhere from straight to 30 degrees. Now my kicking style has me always landing just inside 30 degrees, around about that angle there. So I'll show you in the video through these three kicks exactly how that's landing. One question that does come up a lot is where it should be landing in relation to the midline of the ball. I've seen a range of different things from a lot of reviews. Some high kickers have their plant foot and their midline lined up perfectly. A lot of high kickers on the exact same tee land behind the ball. So I think as long as you're anywhere between those 30 degrees and you've found that unique place where your foot is landing that gives you a consistent strike as long as your momentum's good, there's so many other factors when it comes to goal kicking that your plant foot, yes, is important, but it doesn't have to be the same as every kicker in the world. So it's really unique, just like your ball setup, just like your technique, your rodeo arm, your momentum, your approach to the ball, everything's so unique to every kicker. You just have to find out where this thing's landing and make it really consistent. So let's have these three kicks. Keep an eye on this angle of the plant foot. I may even have to crank out the super slow-mo. So you can actually see here my plant foot, how it's landing. So that's the line there, direction of the tee. You can actually see, I can put my foot in there. That's the direction that my plant foot's landing. You can see the mud. So quite often after a session, you'll be left with a bit of a scuff mark on exactly how your plant foot's landing. Stay slow, trust my timing. <laughs> 